Comp 211 class. What's up? We got Justin and Yuki right here. And we're talking to you guys today about family interactions and how that affects society. <coughs> so Yuki, just tell us a little bit about Derek Black and his experience with his family and how that affected his life. Okay, uh, Derek was raised in a white nationalist community, mm. especially his father, Don, was a hardcore white supremacist who believed in white prominence. Yeah. So unlike other, other kids, uh, Derek attended the white supremacy uh, conference with his father as a kid, which I thought kind of brainwashed his naive belief and thinking towards races and has misunderstanding towards diverse culture. Derek was not able to learn about other races until he attended the new college, which he allowed himself to attend some events such as the Sabbath dinner with Matthew and some other guys. Especially, he dated a Jewish girlfriend. Her name was Rose. So I guess that's the first major turning point in his life that led him to start accepting other cultures and people, I guess. Okay, so Justin, can you share some insights about how family shapes an individual belief? Yeah, absolutely, I can do that. First of all, thank you so much about sharing about Derek Black. And Derek Black is a great example of someone who has been affected by their family. And actually, in the science of studying families and how they interact with society, there's this theory called systems theory. And it talks about how the individual is affected by the family as a whole. So when there's issues within the family, the, the issues are actually seen by individual. Um, and so each individual part, whether it be the mom or the dad or the brother, they affect other people in the family equally. And so with each of these parts coming together, it affects the whole of the person and their experiences and their outlooks on life. And so exactly what we saw from Derek Black, his communication with his family, the experiences that he had um, with learning about white nationalism and uh, being taught that white people are supreme, each of these little individual parts made up who he is as a whole. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we've talked about theory within families and what it looks like with an individual being affected by their family, an example from Derek Black and Rising Out of Hatred, we want to invite a, fr a friend onto our PSA uh, so that he can talk to you more about this issue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Cam. Further examples of how family can affect your individual culture are demonstrated through, especially in Derek Black's case, where he was isolated from a young age and forced into his community of white nationalists. Uh, he was homeschooled, he was encouraged, well, not necessarily uh, like forced into believing that he is a white nationalist and that white people are supreme. He was raised in a culture uh, where his father, mother, siblings, and even his godfather would continually just reinforce his beliefs and his research. It's similar to how a person grown and raised in a Christian family will typically take after their parents and be Christians as well. And so to close this entire PSA, the main goal that we want you guys to understand is that a family affects an individual and that individual then goes into society with ideas and experiences from their family but what's important to note is that they don't just have to stay with those ideas. They can grow into a culture, into a personality that they want to be individually, and then they can communicate with others based upon how they want to do it, not necessarily just what the family says they should.